Yeah. Eat, sleep, fantasy. You rocking with the best. NFL fantasy football podcast. We talking mock drafts, running backs. Better follow the conversation with John, Dale, Christian, and Armando. Screaming, eat nation. We doing what we like. Tune in every week. Guarantee we get it hype. Fantasy. Football enthusiasts, I know you plan to be joining us on Eat Sleep Fantasy. Yeah, Eat Sleep Fantasy. Uh Eat Sleep Fantasy. All right, welcome back to another episode of. Well, welcome back because we haven't been on in a while. uh, To Eat Sleep Fantasy. Uh, With me is Clayton, our Sunday recap. What's up, Clayton? What up? How's things going? It's been so long, buddy. I know, I know. I heard we got some love messages. We uh, did, we did. Asking where we were. Exactly. So, they were actually, yeah, they, they were actually curious if we were going to be doing a show anymore. I thought maybe uh, I was too good for this pod and they fired you. I wasn't sure. Uh, that, it's possible. But, or fired you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm glad, it's, it's, I'm glad to be back. Nice. Yeah, we're, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get, let's jump right into it because uh, we have a lot to talk about. Uh, there's a lot of football today, so. Let's jump right into the Seahawks and Falcons game. I don't know how the Falcons actually made it a game. I think it was a lot of garbage time. But um, it looked like Chris Carson is the man still. Um, just so everyone knows, CJ Procise was inactive. They are shopping Penny, and he looked pretty spicy. Eight carries, 65 yards. Um, I guess Tyrell Lock is still going to be a top 10 guy. Is there anything to note on the Falcon side? Is there anything we should take away from this? Well, really? it, it was strictly garbage time, Armando. Like, yeah. Matt Schaub threw 52 times, 460 yards. And I believe it was like at half, there was, I was like, this is just going to be a complete blowout. And then, then Julio went off for 152 yards. Ridley, I don't know. I know Ridley got hurt in this game. I'm not sure if he did come back or not. I know he did take, uh, it was a clean hit, but I think they were, they test him for a concussion or whatever in this one as well. But for the most part, um, you could still start. I think. I think even with Matt Ryan, this offense wasn't even running with him properly. Right. You know what I mean? He was still good. The guys were still putting up numbers. But I still think even with even if Ryan does sit out longer, I still think uh, Julio Ridley and Hooper are, are must plays pretty much. And I, I think the biggest. Oh, sorry, no, go ahead. No, finish up. Go ahead. I was going to say the biggest question mark people had going into this game is how are they going to handle the offense without Sanu? Who's going to get more involved in the passing game. And it looked like Devontae Freeman absorbed a lot of the Sanu stuff. Hooper and Ridley and Jones were heavily involved, but Freeman did get a lot. I think he got eight receptions, which is quite a bit for Freeman. Yeah, he was targeted. Yeah, he caught all eight of his targets. So that's pretty much he's going to be the beneficiary of that, uh, of the Sanu guess, loss for well, sure. Well, Rust and Gage had, I don't know if that's just because Schaub and Gage, you know, played a lot together, you know, in – second unit but gage had nine targets and he caught seven of them 58 yards that's kind of interesting i don't know if that's real it might just be because it's shab and they play together in the practice squad but that's something to note yeah that was definitely his most uh his most receptions on the year uh outside of that he's only had the m- most is like three receptions i think and that was in preseason yeah. so yeah i guess something to look out for but if if i want to i'm not going to be adding him anywhere just because it's one game right yeah, exactly. And, and it was shabby. You can't nothing you could take from that right now. And you're now. throwing the ball fifty two times, so <laughs> Exactly. Not realistic to uh see that go forward. Um so let's just go ahead and move on to the Eagles and Bills. Um the Eagles demolished I don't know how or why, but they demolished the Bills, like thirty one to thirteen. Um Miles Sanders did leave this game with an injury. Do you have any update on that? Uh he did leave with a um, shoulder. Yeah, what it, I it, yeah, it was his shoulder. And yeah, he didn't come back, but it was uh, it was he had a sweet touchdown. That touchdown that he uh, that he ran in, I think it was a was a sixty five yard touchdown. Yep, I believe yep. It, it, he he looked good, and it's unfortunate because this could have been the game where he could have, you know what I mean? Yeah, K- kind of mm-hmm. uh, you know earn, earned his earned more touches in this, but it was Howard once again, twenty three rushes, ninety six yards, so. And he got a receiving touchdown as well in this one. So, or sorry, it was a rushing touchdown. Yeah, um, I guess a couple things to note: Dallas Goddard continues his streak of being better than Zach Ertz. I mean, yardage isn't there, but he's getting touchdowns. Ertz is not getting shit. Um, so I'm getting kind of worried about him. What do you think? I well, I think it's going to be more. I don't think Ertz is that uh, that elite tight end that he was the last couple of years. I think because now, especially with um, 
the struggles that well you well put it this way Wentz isn't throwing the ball very much and yeah you know their lack of pass catchers I think Godert's just the one that's finding ways to get open yeah. where I think they're no, I, I think they're concentrating on Ertz quite a bit and that they're take they're almost taking him away because the only other person you got to worry about in this passing game is pretty much Jeffrey that's it right right yeah I wonder if uh, this is going to change when Jax comes back, uh, Deshaun Jackson. Um, is he if, coming back? Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's been a long time. Man, it seems every time the guy gets is... hurt, he misses like eight weeks. I know. I know. He's fragile. Poor yeah. little guy. Um, so I think it's nice to see on the B- Buffalo Bills side, uh, Singletary getting involved in the passing game. He did get six targets in this game. I don't know if it was because they were down by so much but that is something to note that he's at least getting involved in the passing game yeah they couldn't do too much on the ground in this one as well anyways like they i think they i think in total they had not even 100 yards so basically philly shut him down pretty good in that uh, that department but even even then with allen only 169 yards um i think singletary is going to be more valuable than gore moving forward yeah, o- for sure. Only because now we obviously know that he's going to be involved in the passing game, right? Exactly. No, that's it's really interesting to see. I, I mean, I, I, Singletary might have been cut in a lot of leagues because he has been injured and had a terrible week last week. So if he's available, I don't know if he's going to be – if he's at the percentile for our waiver wire, we'll check that out as the week progresses. Who's, but he's probably going to hit the – Singletary? Yeah. Oh, no, he's way past it, man. Is he? Yeah. I, I, met, I saw him available in one of my leagues. I was like, oh, man, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, all right, never mind then. Yeah, no, he was. Um, I think. I think when I looked, uh, he was very well owned in Yahoo. I can actually look it up real quick for you. Yeah, he's sixty eight percent owned in Yahoo League. So, like okay. o- o- oh. over si- like over sixty five percent in both Yahoo and ESPN. So, that's good to know. Yep. All right. Well, that's th- mean he's available. In, what forty two percent of leagues, which is still quite a bit. It is. Yeah, absolutely. He's not going to be on our column, obviously, but like definitely he's worth a look. See if he's there or not. Yeah, no, I yeah, I agree. If 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 he if he is there, I would yeah, I would scoop him up for sure. Yeah, definitely. I would waste I would personally waste all my fab on him if he for somehow is actually on the waiver wire for you guys. Um yeah, grab him up. Um so let's move on to the Chargers Bears. I think this was a battle of saving the season. Uh the Bears lost this one. <laughs> um Melvin who's, Gordon continued to look like shit. <laughs> who's kicking for Chicago next week? That, I, I felt know. so bad for that kid, man. Even I'm watching the game and I'm like, come on, just hit it. I just want him to hit it just because, right? And just yeah. left. I'm like, oh, God. Aww, and you could just see in man. his eyes, just, fuck, I just lost my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I agree. Gordon, uh, Gordon didn't look good. Only a 3.9 average today he did get in the end zone though which whatever it's about time but i did read that yeah. they, uh they're listening on offers for him that's good um i hope they trade yeah. him uh it would definitely help everyone's value i mean he's this is what saves melvin gordon every year anyways it's the touchdowns he is a touchdown machine um so yeah just that's not a fluke it's a thing um keen allen was questionable into going into the game he looked fine uh 10 targets for you know, against the Bears, I'm I'm okay with it. I actually benched him in everywhere just because I was worried he wasn't going to play, but he did and he looked fine. Um, actually, on Twitter, he oh, came out and he apologized to fantasy fans for, for oh really yeah, for let for letting him down for letting us down. Oh. He said, "Yeah, it was, it was neat." Yeah, I mean, ten targets is, I mean, in seven receptions isn't bad, no. especially in PPR. Um, I would say this is a breakout game for David Montgomery. Twenty-seven carries, one hundred thirty-five yards, and a touchdown. He looked. He looked fantastic, yeah, and, even, and he was involved in the passing game. Exactly, and Nagy came out and said that he's going to be more uh, more committed to the run, and he actually was for once. And I also read earlier on in the week that the someone from the O-line approached him and said, we got to establish this run game with him. Like, th- this kid's good enough. We need to we, we need to run him more. So I think, I think it was somebody from the offensive line went up to him and said it, and it's kind of good that Nagy's kind of on the same page as them, I guess. As of right now, you, they are so, like I. I don't trust Montgomery. If no. you have him, you have to start him. But like they, they don't, they're not committed. They one game they are, the next game they're not. I mean, they lost this game, so who knows? And that, yeah, that's the game. thing, right? And that that's the thing. Are they going to? Oh well, we we ran him twenty seven times and we lost, so let's only run him twelve and just toss the ball even more. And Trubisky exactly. sucks. Yeah, no, he should be. He is Blake Bortles. He's yeah. just as bad as him. Yeah. 
They had um, they had the good guys uh, burning jerseys, bunch of idiots. But it's <laughs> yeah, like they. I don't know. I think you put Chase Daniels back in. I like Trubisky is not a not an NFL caliber quarterback. And even I read somewhere today too, had he got drafted in the second round, he wouldn't have a starting job right now. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? They trade up for him. They're they're obligated to play him. Um, But he's going to get fired if they don't start winning games. So either way, the coach is in the hot seat and the GM. So we'll see what they end up doing. Uh, Let's move on to the Giants and the Lions. Um, Before we go into the the Giants side, what the fuck happened over here? Everyone got like, Trey Carson. He was <laughs> he was on the Packers last week. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I uh, yeah, I blew about. So we're in this one league where we get uh, it's like it's an auction league, but we we don't lose our fab, but we have to bid on guys, and if we drop them, we get our money back, so on and so forth, right? Yeah. I, I took sixty three bucks on, on Ty Johnson Ooh. this week. And st- Ouch, I'm sorry, man. And started him, <laughs> and he fucked me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. At the start of the game, I was like, I was like looking at stats. I'm like, who the hell? <laughs> and I look, I'm yeah. like, oh, shit. Yeah, I guess they really got us. <laughs> yeah, no, they did. I mean, they won this game. The interesting is interesting thing to note before we move on to anyone else is Kenyon Drake is currently in rumors of being traded to the Lions. Um, well, he didn't travel with the team today. I read that. Exactly. So, uh, yeah. They, so I think someone on Twitter did say there's obviously a deal in place uh, beca- right. because he didn't even travel. So, Right. So we're uh, we're speculating right now. The only two teams that, that are on the rumor mill right now are the Titans, which is kind of surprising, and the Lions. Um, obviously, they won this game, so maybe they see their chances of the playoffs still, you know, there. Um, but, yeah, I think that's something to note. Amendola had a really nice game for PPR, 8 for 95 um yeah so to the, to, to nice the one scene. listener that uh on twitter that does listen to this show i apologize for telling you to uh not play amandola <laughs> i think you kind of, in ppr like if you're it, as a flex player he's okay yeah. he, it was he's, I, oh, he's average i really wish okay. i could remember what the question was that he had asked me it was amandola or someone else i can't remember what it was but i just i like the uh I, I like the. Oh no, it was Allen. That's what it was. It was Keenan Allen or Amendola, and I'm like, well, you got to play Keenan Allen, and I'd, I'd take a 75 percent Keenan Allen to Amendola, right? I mean, who would? Oh, for sure, right? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it, it wasn't it wasn't like it was a, a re- ridiculous uh, option that I said no to, right? So it's kind of a legit one. Yeah. So on the Giants side, um, the Lions smothered the run game. I would say hey, you got to talk say- about Galladay here. He went off. I mean- yeah, he looked. He looked. He, he went off. Yeah, he he looked good. He he had two huge bombs and he caught him. Yeah, like, yeah I like Gall. I I don't trust Galladay. I, I don't know why. I just you know like he's so up and down. Do you agree or do you love Galladay? Like well, I, I I in this season I thought maybe he might ascend to a wide receiver. You know one, but I don't think he's ever going to be that. Yeah, he's almost turning into a. It's funny. Like he has. You know, a big game one week and then just a dud the next week. So, yeah, consistency-wise, um, not the best. But I, as far as – if you were in a PPR league, I think he'd be good because yeah. he is getting targeted. And, I mean, out of the – in the last four – or out of the last seven weeks, he has only had two games with two games with under four catches. Yeah. So – um, one more thing. No, I don't know if you agree with me, but I thought for some reason that TJ Hawkinson would kind of absorb some yeah. of the, uh, passing like, I, th- I don't know. I thought he'd get more involved after losing Kirion Johnson, that they would pass the ball more and Kirion and it would be TJ Hawkinson who would be the beneficiary. And he was not at all. Th- it was Amendola. I think it's, I think it is Amendola. I think it's going to be Amendola moving forward too, right? That's back, yeah. back to back games with, uh, eight receptions. And almost 100 yards in both games. Like, he had 105 yards last week and 95 this week. So, I have a feeling there's – I see kind of a trend moving here. So, he might be an option and like, you know, as a, as a flex start. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. So, on the Giants side, Barkley wasn't very good uh, carrying the ball, but he looked great uh, receiving it. Um, is Slayton going to make your waiver wire column? I think two, he, two touchdowns. Yeah, I, I, think, I think he has to because – a, we're still not sure about what's going to happen. It might change if Sterling Shepard is back, but as of right now, he'll definitely make it, make it on there. Because that's, I mean, that's st- he only had two receptions, but he's being targeted in the red zone, right? 
Right. So I, exactly. That's I mean, and bombs like yeah, two receptions, fifty yards, two touchdowns. Um. So he's he's involved somehow. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm getting kind of worried of Ingram. Like he's not looking good. I know he caught a touchdown today, but like he's not like two games in a row. Like I would I expect more from him. Like that's something to. Uh, I don't know, maybe because Barkley's back and he's getting the underneath stuff now, but that's something to be worried about. Well, I thought, I actually thought that I expected, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Ingram to have a big game this week as well. And it's that's how it should have been the last two weeks, and he just can't seem to get anything going. Yeah, no, he can't. I, 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 maybe he's injured, I don't know. But that's something to note, like, if you own Ingram, maybe he's a sell high after this game. Like, I, I don't know. He's probably still going to be a top 12, I would say tight end sure um but i would be i don't think he's gonna you if you can get like austin hooper i would or something else i would do it i I think his best days are behind him for this season at least yeah i agree um so let's move on to the buccaneers and the titans game uh ryan Tannehill led the titans to another victory they are 500 under the former dolphin ryan Tannehill. (laughs) he he looked okay i mean he's only 100 i mean 193 yards on 21 21 completions isn't those aren't the greatest but you don't need to be amazing if you're at least throwing three touchdowns in a game right exactly you know what i mean yeah i'm i'm happy to see him win <laughs> the one the one you know the one thing to take away in this game is that for me i knew smith with delaney walker being out i knew he was going to be be uh, a, a consistent contributor it was the lack of <laughs> of catches for like Corey Davis, both Corey Davis and AJ Brown. Corey Davis right? was targeted six times, only caught one or two balls for nine yards. Like he wasn't even being used at all. Yeah, no, I was uh, pretty shocked about it. Um, I picked up AJ Brown because I have DJ Moore, a bunch of leagues. I didn't want to start him anywhere. And I picked up AJ Brown thinking, I think last week AJ Brown had like eight uh, targets for him. Who's a, he's a deep threat. That's quite a bit. Um, so he didn't get, he got three targets. Pretty disappointing to see. I don't know if it was game flow or what, or the Buccaneers just came off a bye as well. So there's something, you know, I don't know what was going on there, but that's something to note. Like they, maybe they just got really ready for Corey Davis and AJ Brown. I don't fucking yeah, know. I'm not sure. But when you got guys like another one to to pay attention. I mean, not if I mean this is if you're absolutely desperate. Is uh, is Humphreys is quietly putting up a few numbers week to week. He's getting receptions at least. The yardage isn't isn't there he hasn't found the end zone yet but i mean with the amount of teams going on a bye next week because there's a ton i think there's like six teams on a bye next week i think yeah if there's I, a lot. you know what i mean if if you do need to keep i mean especially in a ppr i mean he could be an option moving forward yeah but just we'll just look to see what's out there i'm not going to tell anybody to add him but yeah, I added Johnny Smith in a league in uh, our SFB league, and um, he fucking went off. Isn't like that, uh, it, it was great. That's to, that, <laughs> like uh, I bet premium league. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. Uh, Scott Fishbowl. I he got twenty five <laughs> points for me. Um, I benched. Uh, who did I bench? I benched Joe Mixon. So <laughs> I was re- <laughs> for him. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, so over on the Buccaneers side. Uh, Mike Evans saved me in a oh, bunch of leagues. I, Jesus me, Christ, me I love him me sometimes, too. and sometimes I hate him. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was he, I was in the, I'm in that league with my kid, and I'm getting shit kicked in it. And I had Evans, and now I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm coming for mm-hmm. all you fuckers. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, he looked great. Godwin looked good. I mean, he had eight targets for uh, forty three yards, which isn't terrible. Um, I don't understand why they don't just let Ronald Jones be the feature back. He is always better than Peyton Barber. Every game. Like, <laughs> every game. It doesn't make any yeah. sense at this point. I just, honestly, man, I, th- okay, let's just, Winston's a terrible quarterback. <laughs> He's horrendous. And I think the problem with that is, with with having Joe, I just don't think, they play for, they play down all the time. That I don't think they can really establish a run game. <laughs> You know what I mean? I guess, yeah. I mean, they were in this game. That's yeah. the thing. They were in. They were in this game the entire time. They had a chance to win it. It's. Just, I just. Don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I. I really do think like Ronald Jones is a buy low. Like, they have to start featuring him. They put a second rounder on him. He is better than like Payne Barber. Like they. 
they have to start phasing him out at some point, right? Yeah, but when you're you're nine games or eight games into the season now, and it's still not happening, you know what uh, I mean? Maybe they got to yeah. get. Maybe Arians got to be on the hot seat a little bit, maybe for him to to you know reset himself and lo- yeah. look at yeah. look at the stats, right? But as far as as far as freaking Winston goes, like he's he's horrible. Another two interceptions this game. Yeah, and just oh. Yeah. It is, they are a good pass defense. Like I'm not. It's not. It, he's a bad quarterback. I mean, he shouldn't throw two interceptions. But still, like it was a pass. It was a tough defense to play. But fuck it. He should not be starting anymore. They should just trade for Ryan Fitzpatrick from the Dolphins, and we'll go win a game or two. <laughs> yeah, but what? And another thing is, is they're in clutch. They need a clutch play at the right time. And didn't he throw? Well, he, yeah, he threw that last pick. Um, and he was going for Perryman downfield. Did you see? Yeah. Did you see that no. at the end of the game? No, no, I didn't see it. Oh, he it was like wasn't even close to target. And sorry to say, but Jones just got a long bomb touchdown. By the way, <laughs> oh nice, yeah, it was good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like in a case like that, when you got two elite receivers and Evans and Godwin, why are you chucking it downfield to Perriman? You know, a guy didn't even have a catch today. Yeah, uh, it doesn't really make any. And sense. and he tackled Ronald Jones. <laughs> yeah. Did you see it? He's no, doing, no, no. He was the uh, I don't know, he was coming through, handed the ball off. He was swinging through and he ended up running directly into in, into Rojo and basically tackled him. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Good, good job, guys. <laughs> Moron. Yeah, no, they're going to end up with a top 5 draft pick and uh, they should take a quarterback. Absolutely. Um, so let's move on to the Broncos and the Colts. Uh, I think the Colts won this by the hair on the chinny chin chin. Um, the Broncos actually looked okay. Joe Flacco did not. The defense did. Um, I don't know if there's anything big to note. Emmanuel Sanders was traded, and I guess the biggest beneficiary was Noah Fan with eight targets. Uh, Cortland Sutton was smothered, but uh, you know he still was able to get 72 yards. But Noah Fan uh, might be an interesting add. Do you say? I think it ha- it has to be now because that's uh, t- two two weeks in a row now, maybe even three that he's. Uh... He's well. He's had receptions and yardage, and he is targeted more. He's getting more targets moving forward. But another yeah. guy I want to say, and he didn't do much this game, but it is his first pretty much start. Is Deontay Spencer, wide receiver? He uh, oh. he's he's a big, he's a CFL standout last year. Okay, and he went to Pittsburgh. He got made or yeah, he was on the uh, made it to almost last cuts. They released him, and. Denver ended up picking up. He does. He's a special team guy. Like he's fast. This guy set like, I think he had a total of over four hundred some all all purpose yards one in one game. He's quick. Right. He's uh, so he could be a guy to guy to that might be able to get some looks with uh, Sanu not being there anymore. Yeah, not Sanu. Um, Sanders or Sanders. Sorry, my apologies. Um, yeah, don't don't disagree with you on that one. Um, so on the Colts side, Marlon Mack finally got in the end zone. He looks good. Jack Doyle, um, outperformed Eric Ebron, which is something to note. Like, I think they go back and forth every week. Yeah. I think I'd rather own Jack Doyle overall over Eric Ebron. I know he has a better, uh, touchdown chance with Ebron, but I don't know. I think Jack Doyle is a better overall tight end. Over, overall. Yeah, definitely for sure. But, uh, I think in, when it comes to Ebron, I think he still is like one of those, like first looks in the red zone. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. No, I don't disagree with you on that one. He'll get there, but we'll see. Um, there isn't much more note. I mean, it was a kind of a ugly game, and I don't know if there's much to take away from it. It was 15 to 13, so let's yeah, let's not yeah, talk about yeah, it too much. To worry about that. <laughs> um, so let's move on to the Cincinnati Bengals and the Rams. Surprisingly, the Bengals hang, hung in there for just a little bit. Uh, just a little bit, not too long. Yeah, I'll just talk um, about, just real quick here before we get started on it. Brandon yeah. Cooks left this game with a, a concussion. He took a brutal hit. I think he, well, he got hit the first time and it looked like he was out cold and then got hit again on the way down. Uh, yeah, it didn't look good at all, but I imagine he's going to be missing quite a few weeks. I mean, they are on a bye next week, so, I mean, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't affect you next week, but just something He was to keep already on. kind of on the brink of... I think he was already on the brink of being cut, and this is just more down that line. Personally, I'm going to cut Brandon Cooks in, some, in anything that's not dynasty or keeper. I'm probably cutting Brandon Cooks at this point in the game. Um, 
do you agree? Is that, yeah, is that too no, bold? No, I agree. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm caught up. That, that touchdown didn't count. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I needed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm down. Um, I need a big, I need the Packers to score a defensive touchdown for me to win, um, a big game. So that, that is what I'm waiting for. I just need the Packers to just smother, which they are. I mean, Matt Moore looks terrible. Yeah. Um, so sorry on the Bengals side, uh, Joe Mixon looks pretty good, and Alex Erickson continues to uh, be a boss two weeks in a row. Yeah, I was looking at that. It's, I think, I don't know. It's it's hard to say from from what's happening with this team because one minute Dalton looks terrible, and then he puts up numbers like this again, right? Like another 300 yards. And, yeah, Erickson, how many times has he targeted? Seven times in this game. So Yeah, quite a bit, yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess he's – I mean, I didn't want to – I don't think I added him. I didn't. I don't think I put him down as an ad last week, just because I was like, I'm not buying into it. But you kind of have to now. This is two weeks in a row that he's put up some, yeah, some great stats. So, well, before we go too far into that, next week is a buy, yeah, and then they've already said they expect AJ Green back after the buy. Uh, so, yeah, so maybe don't. I mean, and there's Auden Tate who got 13 targets. He yeah. only got 65 yards with that, but that target percentile is he's out targeted Tyler Boyd, which is kind of impressive i don't know that just throwing that out yeah this is- so yeah maybe maybe just yeah i didn't realize they were on a buy next week but maybe who's going to be who's going to follow to favor if aj green does come back is it going to be erickson because i think tate's proven that he could be I, a like a solid uh a solid receiver i mean i solid. i think he just absorbs everything like i mean they're gonna i think they're gonna be more I think it's gonna help joe mixon i think it's gonna help tyler boyd i just think that the other guys are gonna be not even I don't know. I wouldn't start. I wouldn't even consider starting any of them until I see it again. Yeah. With the, with AJ Green on the field, he's gonna get. He's gonna absorb those thirteen targets from somewhere. They're they're still gonna be down a lot of games. But do you think they trade um, AJ scheduled... Green by Tuesday? No, they already said they're not trading any of their uh, players. So I, if it was another team, if it was the Miami Dolphins, sure, yeah, they'll <laughs> definitely trade AJ Green. But I don't think he's going anywhere, and I don't even think he's gonna resign. So no. um, it's just. A, idiotic move i don't think either, either thing's gonna happen um sorry that was a little aggressive yeah. uh, cooper cup went off <laughs> for 220 yards and a touchdown fucked me in the league not good um but like you said uh w- when cooks went down it looks like josh reynolds absorbed that role and he looked like the second best receiver on on the field uh which is really nice to see yeah he's and he he did it last year too uh if you recall like he when cooks did go out as well he stepped in and he was he was good. He was a great tight end at the end of the year. So definitely somebody to keep an eye on depending on how this, uh, I mean, I wouldn't use any fab money on him. Like if somebody takes him on their bye week then that's not very smart, but definitely, definitely an ad. If you, if you have a roster spot. Yeah. Another guy that I think is kind of interesting. Uh, Malcolm Brown is out, but Henderson um, out carried Todd Gurley. I mean, I know they were up, but he looks fine. He looks just as good as Todd Gurley, which is uh interesting to see and he he also out targeted and received it todd Gurley. so that's back back to back weeks with 11 rushes so i mean it's almost turning into a i mean they, they said that Gurley they were going to try to limit his carries anyways right and trying to yeah. keep him healthy for the whole season and i think yeah as far as i think henderson is one obviously a handcuff to Gurley, but could also be used um in games like Matchup proof, like the way I would go about it. I have Henderson in a league, and I do have Gurley. There's there's times that I would, if the matchups good, say they're playing Miami or something like that. I would, yeah. uh, I'd have no issue starting both of them. Put, yeah, you know, I agree putting, with that. Putting, because as soon as they get up, they're going to be uh, running to to uh, both of them in the, in there, right? So, yeah, hundred percent agree with that. So let's move on to the Cardinals and the Saints. The Cardinals prove that they suck. <laughs> I think we all knew that. Uh, Kyle Murray is not a good NFL quarterback yet. Um, I hate Kyler Murray personally. Uh, that's just me. Uh, Chase Edmonds, before he, he says anything, is injured. Yeah, he is. Uh, he left this game with a hamstring injury, and the only other back they had healthy back was Zach Zenner, and he only rushed the <laughs> ball once. <laughs> so, um, yeah. yeah, I'm not sure that w- what they're going to do there. I om- you got to kind of see like how – how much is DJ injured? You know what I mean? Like what's the extent of this injury? 
That's the we know he's out next week as of right now. Yeah. So that's something to know. Like it, they're playing Thursday night. Don't expect him back. And I don't think you're wasting a waiver wire on any of the backups. No, they de- all were signed. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not. And I think because they had uh, they signed Alfred Morris too, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, he was inactive. Yeah, so you very, very well could be could see him moving uh, next week. Yeah, maybe maybe he's fine. Maybe he's just a stinger, and he didn't, and he'll be fine for next week. But just something to note that, uh, yeah, that's I think it's a big deal. Yeah, Um, people were kind of worried if you own DJ and a keeper dynasty league, like Chase Edmonds did look better than DJ when he was healthy. Yeah. Um, So and you know hamstring um, injuries with backs, it usually has tendency of lingering. So. So Christian Kirk finally came back, and he looked like a monster. Eight receptions on 11 targets for 79 yards. I'm happy with that. I think he's, a in PPR, at least he's a wide receiver two-ish. Oh, um, absolutely. Didn't I offer you him in that in that trade when we were trying to make a deal? Yeah, yeah, I guess you're taking that trade off the, off the table <laughs> no, now. No more, son, no more. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> um, that's the biggest thing to note for them. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald came back down to earth. I don't ever see him coming back from it. I think he is what he is. He's old, and uh, he's going to have. He's going to have. He's boomer bust, right? Like he's going to have those big games, and he started out great. The last two weeks, he's been just not good. Yeah, no. I would get, if you own him, trade him for whatever yeah. you can get. Yeah. He's he's done. Um, so Latavius Murray continues to be uh, a doppelganger. Or a clone of Alvin Kamara looks just as good as yeah, him. He does. Um, he, he looks really good. Uh, there isn't much more to note besides that. Michael Thomas looked great. Latavius Murray looked great. So I mean, yeah, and just remember too, Kamara will be back after their bye. They have a bye next week. So yeah, and that was one thing that was really weird to me um, was how they still. Now was it a case of Drew Brees coming back because he pushed it, or is that Peyton? You know, saying "Yeah, you're healthy. Let's go back in." Because I found I found that very odd. They could have won this game with Bridgewater. Bridgewater was perfectly oh, yeah. fine, right? Yeah. So do you- I don't know. I, I, guess, I guess they wanted to get him out. I mean, if what do you do? Like, he's the best quarter, one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Do you say yeah. no? Wait a week if you're ready to go. Like, I guess you kind of have to say, "Yeah, man, whatever you want, boss." Yeah, I don't, that's I don't know. It's true. I mean, look at it. He looked perfectly fine. Hey, so yeah. And exactly. oh, another uh, Josh Hill looked looked good again. I mean, he was targeted five times, three catches for thirty nine yards. But he's going to be um, with Cook being out. Uh, he looks like he's stepping in. Even looks better than what Cook did. Yeah, no, he definitely does. Um, so let's move on to the Jets and the Jaguars. The best game of the weekend. <laughs> Look, is Sam Donald still seeing ghosts? Like, what's going on over there? He looks. Uh, atrocious against a I would say a mediocre at defense at best <laughs> yeah and this this Jacksonville defense actually looked like they they used to be you know what I mean yeah, I mean you look yeah. you look at the stats and you're like wow this like they really uh take it to them like they couldn't get I had high hopes for Le'Veon Bell moving uh in this game he Me did too. he did nothing like absolutely no. nothing and it is hard to watch like yeah. you're not going to win games if you give him nine carries he's like literally the best back in the game talent wise if you're not giving him work what the fuck do you think is gonna happen <laughs> yeah i mean there's nothing nothing to really take out of this i guess ryan griffin but her Herndon's supposed to be back next week so i mean i would yeah. i wouldn't want anybody on this team i i was i was disappointed in 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 crowder's numbers in this one so yeah that's not good to see at all yeah. like he, he was getting targeted a shit ton maybe uh he they just need a little more time he'll get i don't know what the fuck's going on there but Le'Veon bell's schedule goes completely ape shit easy after this game yeah. so i mean if they can't i mean i didn't expect a great game for him i expected more than fucking whatever we got um but uh yeah he's he's gonna have the dolphins twice going forward and the bengals as well so his schedule is gonna be, i would i would say at right now is a great time to buy levy on bell for cheap as fuck yeah and you um, should also um as far as the a receiver to own on this team now in my opinion is demarius thomas of all people <laughs> Yeah, right. He, well, he's, he's he's put up he's put up numbers in the last 4 weeks. Like he's put up what five, he put up 47 yards, 62, 42 and 63 today and no more than, yeah. you know what I mean? Four, four uh four four to five receptions a game. That's uh that's not bad in this offense. So, and he had, had how many targets again today? Five. So he was 5 for 63, yeah. so yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how this evolves. Maybe he he looks good. Like right now, he looks good. Maybe maybe he'll get back into form as it's, their schedule eases up. Um, so on the Jaguar side, I would say Chark is still a. 
I would say he's a top 12 wide receiver going forward. He's continuing to be a boss right yeah, now. I don't, yeah, I don't know. He looked good. And I think the fact that uh, with Marquise Lee being, he in, injured his shoulder and left this game. Uh, and Westbrook, And Westbrook too, I think. as well. Yeah, suffered a neck and shoulder injury. I think that, that tells you that uh, Conley, I think Conley is going to be, depending on the severity of those injuries, Conley will be beneficiary of those two being out as well. Yeah. Another guy on the roster is Keelan Cole. He was good last year, um, but who who fucking knows, really? It's going to be Chark and Conley, to be honest. I don't think we need to worry about anyone else. Yeah, and Fournette, Fournette looked good in both uh, the rushing and the passing game. So. Yeah, 100% agree with that. So let's move on to the Panthers and the 49ers. I don't know if there's a lot to talk about. We Things just continue have, to be we the same. Just, let John, just saying, <laughs> seeing John today would just <laughs> he'd be going off. Good game, though. My God. Like, yeah. I, it doesn't make I, I they can't be this fucking good. Like it's, it's the defense. It's not anything else. Like what the fuck? 13 to 451 team coming off the bye, winning four games straight and they get their asses handed yeah. to them. And f- f- five rushing touchdowns for, for the 49ers. Cole, I don't get Coleman it. kicked the shit out of me in a couple leagues. Like, yeah. On 11 carries, yeah. 105 yards. Yeah. Like that's, amazing <laughs> three touchdowns and caught another touchdown on two receptions yeah re- it is and you know what to me garoppolo is i don't know in my opinion garoppolo is not a nfl caliber quarterback in my opinion he's a he is alex smith like yeah. we wait wait three years to get alex smith again like what the fuck guys <laughs> you know like great good job yeah, he um, threw they're two, not gonna win the super bowl two touchdowns but i don't know you yeah. can't really I mean, if if your defense defense is what wins championships, right? So it's yeah, yeah, exactly. But you know, like he, it's he's not like I don't think they're going to beat teams like Aaron Rodgers or Drew Brees. Like those are elite talents. Like it's going to be, I think it's going to be a little harder than uh, you know than Kyle Allen. They're they're, <laughs> they're seven and zero right now, right? You got to give the guys respect. That's the thing. I, I agree. They're re- they're definitely going to get that re- pie week. Yeah, I'll regardless of who they play or not. I mean, you still got to. You still got to give these give them respect. I mean, Nick Bose on the defensive side of the ball just he's a fuck him. He's a monster. <laughs> oh yeah, their defense is is legit. <laughs> yeah. I would say they're maybe the best in the NFL yeah. right now. Yeah, between them and them in New England, it's definitely close. Yeah. Um. So I expected a shitty game from McCaffrey. I was wrong. I played against him in almost every league, and it was hard to watch. Um. There's a much more note on that besides Sanders was a second targeted player as they said he would be. Um, he only went for 25 yards and a touchdown, but I think he's going to get more and more involved. And uh, I think everyone else is almost useless on this offense besides Kittle and Sanders. Yeah, Sa- on, the, on the receiving end, Sanders is obviously their, uh, you know, their their go to on third downs. I don't I can't yeah. remember how many they, but the ones that I did see, I mean, it was like every third down they were throwing it to him and he was catching them. So he's yeah. going to be a guy that definitely moves the chains a little bit. Yeah, I definitely see that happening, and. Kittle look good even with Sanders out there, so I'm not worried about him right now. A poor guy, man. He <laughs> two. The one thing that kills me about him, I think he actually legit scores every week, and yeah. it gets called back. <laughs> I know it sucks. <laughs> like every week, I think I every time I watch a game, he has a touchdown, and no, no, he doesn't have a touchdown now. Oh, poor guy. And he was pissed um, after so, this one. Really? Yeah. Sa- I Samuel I Samuel held the held the guy or something like that, and you could just see he's like. Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, so over on the uh, next game, the Browns versus the Patriots, uh, they did not win this game, but the Patriots did look somewhat vulnerable. Um, uh, they won 13 to 27, which isn't crazy. Um, yeah. Edelman looked great. I think Sonny Michelle retained his job with 21 carries. I think that's with Burkhead back. He still got the 21 carries, which is really nice to see. I was, I'm still worried about Michelle, but um, you know, 21 carries is not bad. He's still going to be that guy, though, that can give you three touchdowns in any given game, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, I needed that this week, Sonny. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> the, the, thing with the, the thing with this offense is um, it's, I don't know, like Brady, I got to see. I'm still not sure. I think it's just games, game flow for him, right? And the, like Cleveland's defense is garbage. But Ed, Edelman is just the, the man there. He just he catches everything all the time. And he's one of the most probably consistent receivers, I think, in the in the league. Yeah. No, I – yeah, 100%. Um, so on the Cleveland Browns side, I kind of hope that Odell Beckham will look better. 
Um, but he only got he got targeted seven times, which isn't bad for fifty two yards, which is bad for Odell Beckham. That's almost embarrassing. Like that's not good. <laughs> no, uh, Baker Mayfield <laughs> sucks. Like he's just as bad. He should he should be dropped in any le- every league. In my opinion, I, I don't I don't agree with you. No, it's again it's a, look at look. I mean, you played against the Patriots. He looked he looked better than any quarterback. Up until now, did you see right? that interception that he or no. yeah the the interception that he gave up? Was it bad? Oh, you got to You got to look it up. It was, it was. <laughs> oh, he threw it right to the guy. Like the guy was rushing. I think it was supposed to be a pitch, and he threw it right to a New England defender. They should cut. I think they should. They should get rid of Kitchens. I think he's the issue. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Anybody. And we. I was saying that uh, watching it with my kid, and that's exactly what I said. I was like, Kitchens. How does Kitchens have a job? Yeah, he shouldn't. I mean, he was intern last week, last year. He should not. He should not. I'm sure he's fine as you know whatever he was before. Like, but NFL ready, he is not. Like it. And pretty is clear. Jarvis Landry has to learn not. To, why are you talking shit to Belichick? You know, goes into this uh, game he, and he's like, ah, oh, we're gonna win. Yeah, he got yeah, he, shit kicked, he bro. Up. Yeah, yeah he exactly. <laughs> and Chubb, Chubb looked I mean, at least awesome. they put up a fight. At yeah. least they put up a fight. Like that's that's at least. <laughs> and Chubb, um, Chubb looked really good. The two, those two costly fumbles. Yeah, this game, this game honestly would have been closer. I think. I I don't know exactly how many off of the turnovers, how many points New England did score, but Chubb had that huge run and. He fumbled it like he, I think it was like a must have been a yeah forty fifty yard run, and got fumbled it right at like the five yard line. I don't know if they did go downfield and score, but had he held on to that ball, that probably would have been a score. Oh, sad. So yeah, there was two costly fumbles that he did have in this one. Um, so let's move on to the Raiders and the Texans. Um, the Texans won this game, came back and won it. Surprisingly, they did not look good. Um, well, I don't understand what takes DeAndre Hopkins so fucking long to get into a game. Like literally, the first half of the game for the whole entire season, he gets no tar. He gets like one target for five yards, and then he explodes for thirteen targets and one hundred and nine yards. Like, wh- like what the fuck? I don't know if I don't think it. I don't think it's a, a matter of that. This O line is horrible. Like yeah. Watson is under pressure ninety percent of the time, and he ca- he has no time to get the ball out. So I think, yeah, sure, if Hopkins is what he had, 13 targets, he did catch 11 balls today. But I guarantee Hopkins has to work for those catches. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Because they're very rarely they're on, on, on target. Yeah, that sucks. It really sucks. And I, th- um, I thought Stills would have had a way better game, and he, he was only targeted five times. So I'm not sure. I I mean, Watson, Watson's obviously elite, but... I don't. They they need to either trade somebody if they if they want to go anywhere in playoffs and beyond. They need to they need to fix this O line like stat fast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Fells is actually the most intriguing guy. Like he look he's been consistent. He had two touchdowns, six receptions, fifty eight yards. Like he is a top twelve guy. And if he's available, he's I don't know mad. if he's gonna. Be, he, he is okay. Oh, one hundred percent. He sh- he should be. Oh, okay, that's yeah. that's okay, two good. two weeks in a row. He's, uh, yeah, well, out of the last four weeks, he's had a uh, couple weeks where he's had six receptions. He's probably he's probably way uh, one of the most targeted on this team as far as receivers go. Yeah, he looks good, yep. and he he is he is legit top twelve guy going forward. Um, I think we can note that Washington is a handcuff to own behind Jacobs. He's getting the most work, and he looks pretty good doing it. Um, Tyrell Williams returned to this game. Uh, finally, after like a four week uh, hiatus, uh, he did catch 91 yards and a touchdown, which is nice to see. Um, Zay Jones is alive. He's still playing in the NFL. Something to note. <laughs> yeah. And I think uh, everyone was pretty disappointed with uh, Darren Whaler. Uh, eight come targets. On. Who? Okay, <laughs> come on, guy. Darren Waller. 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 It's oh, you're Whaler. talking to me. It's I thought you were mad, you mad at him. Jesus. You're mad at me. Waller. 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 Why don't we just call him the Whaler? Because it's terrible. That's his new nickname. No, on the pod, the Whaler. No, Whaler. No, it's not. Wa- it's Waller. <laughs> what if he ever wants to come on our show, man? He's like, I don't want to be on that. No show. one's those good. Guys, those guys don't fucking know my name. <laughs> no, nope, nope. Waller. No, he he know he knows me. He knows I'm bad at names. You know, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just something to know. Whaler, Waller. <laughs> Fuck, I can't even do it right when I'm trying. <laughs> 
Waller. I, I even like the guy. I don't even know why I'm doing that. It's, I'm my bad, everyone. My bad. Um, yeah, he looked bad. He did he, get. He, he did re- get in the end zone, which was that saved that saved his day. Yeah, but I mean, you expect a lot more considering you know he looks better with Williams on the field, and he did not uh, look better with Williams on the field this week. <laughs> and Hunter Renfro, he he was he had four catches for eighty eight yards. And he got in the end zone, long long bomb touchdown. Uh, that he was wide open though, like on that sixty five yard touchdown, like nobody was anywhere near him. Oh, yeah. So I would no, I, I, I wouldn't buy too much into that. No, no, but I mean the targets are. I mean there's. Four targets, okay. He did catch all of them. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I wouldn't really believe too much well, into it. They, they need, they still need a. They don't have a wide receiver two right now, right? Outside yeah, of Williams, exactly. so maybe maybe it's something to keep an eye on. But as far as like moving forward, just 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 watch them, watch and see. Listen to the pod, and if we say yeah, get them on there, get them on. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I think that's gonna do it for all our games i do want to say one more thing josh gordon if he's available in your league i would grab him he was put on ir but there's a chance they're going to uh, release him after two weeks he expects to be healthy by then so i think that's something to a little bit to note there i yeah i did read that as well now why are they why are they releasing him like what is it just you know i don't know i don't i don't know that's a great fucking question (laughs) did he did he (laughs) fail another test or something or yeah, is there something we don't know yet yeah i don't know that's yeah that's that's my only that's my only uh hesitation is nobody really knows what's wrong why all of a sudden you know there's all these high expectations for him coming into the year and then all of a sudden uh, uh, all, all of a sudden he is you know they talk about him and then they just leave it alone right you know what i mean then they're like ah, move on yeah. trade for uh, trade for sanu and let's get out of here yeah and it's something to be a little worried about i mean i would still add him don't waste any fab at all or waste a waiver wire spot on him. but if he's available after free agent goes through um on wednesday or thursday i would just pick him up and stash him for two weeks and see what happens because he is when healthy on the right offense a wide receiver too and there's a lot of teams out there that need a quarterback right now no agree uh that's all i got clean that was a we did really fast yeah that was quick that was like 40 45 minutes or so so that's perfect yeah yeah all right guys well have a great with i'm guessing dale's gonna insert an ad somewhere so if you hear his voice i apologize <laughs> yeah hey we don't do ads man we just we we just bring the we just bring the we recap games perfectly fine yeah. the, they don't want to hear my voice and my me talking like mispronouncing our <laughs> people like hey this is man cape like what no <laughs> it's man scape armando like they yeah i still i still should have put the over and under on how many names you would have uh screwed up today but i would have lost yeah Yeah, you would have put like three and i've only messed up one (laughs) exactly (laughs) i just stopped saying names i would just say the wide receiver too on uh, and then i'll (laughs) then i'll come in right i'll say the name that will be good there you go all right good night everyone or good day good afternoon have a great day cheers (laughs) yeah eat sleep fantasy you rocking with the best NFL fantasy football podcast. We talking mock drafts, running backs. Better follow the conversation with John, Dale, Christian, and Armando. Screaming Eat Nation. We doing what we like. Tune in every week. Guarantee we get it hype. Fantasy football enthusiasts. I know you plan to be joining us on Eat Sleep Fantasy. Yeah. Eat Sleep Fantasy. Eat Sleep Fantasy. Fantasy.